Robert praises Kristen's film before heading to the Remember Me after party, and Peter practices acting with poultry. I'm Carly, and this is your Pop Sugar Rush. It's a really good film, The Runaway. Remember Me made $8.3 million its first weekend out, and Rob has high hopes for The Runaways, saying the popularity of Twilight is helping their small projects compete against blockbusters. They're both little films, and so the, the idea that Twilight helps little independent films kind of smash through, like, you know, Alice in Wonderland, all these $100 million budgets, it's just like, ha! <laughs> That's nice. Robert added a beanie to his outfit to attend the Remember Me premiere after party at the Ivy Club in London. Co-star Emily DeRaven had given Rob company on the red carpet, but he was spotted solo heading out the restaurant's back door to an awaiting car. I would cut the chicken breasts open and then I would suture them up. And I had like chicken breasts all over my apartment, all these stitched up chicken breasts. And then I went out and the maid had come and I was like, oh no, the maid's going to think I'm like some psycho killer. Peter Facinelli says he practiced the scene in New Moon where he gives Bella stitches by working with cut up chicken breasts, which must have scared his housekeeper when she saw the mangled meat. This one's not going to be easy, guys. Scalpel. Peter talked to George Lopez, who happens to be his neighbor, and admitted that he sometimes takes refuge in a big RV parked outside his house. Oh. Because I got a lot of girls in the house, I gotta get out! Happened in November, yeah. but I don't have another job, which feels great. It's been a long time since I haven't had some food. All eyes were on a poochie dress wearing Kristen Stewart at the New York City premiere of The Runaways, where she told us she's looking forward to resting before filming the final installment of the Twilight Saga. Speaking of Breaking Dawn, Kristen says she's pleased with all the potential director picks. Everyone that they've considered is, I mean, they're really like, they're, they've got obviously like really uh, huge ambition. So that is awesome. But I have no idea who they're going with. I, have, I don't even know which way they're like leaning. As for the project at hand, co star Dakota Fanning says the Runaways cast became like a family. We became really good friends and uh, we're still friends today, especially Kristen. She's one of my best friends. My knees buckled and I don't think I screamed quite that loud since I was in the Runaways. Cherie Curry and Joe. Jet say they're proud to have their story told by Kristen and Dakota. The real life rockers have been by the girls' side during filming and on the red carpet, making sure fans take away the true message of the runaways. For me, it's about sticking and following your dreams. And that was your Pop Sugar Rush. Have a great day.